Alright, this is a quick tutorial about installing Virtual Dub 64 bit and the required codecs and filters needed for it. Uh, for starters, we're going to install Lame 64 for MP3 encoding. Uh, basically, just Google that. And then you'll notice Lame ACM.inf. Just right click and click install on that. And with FFD Show, you're going to want to get the 64 bit version, which can be difficult and that's that from sourceforge.net slash projects slash ffd show hyphen tryout slash files and then the 64-bit version should be available for download and go ahead and install the 64-bit version you're going to want to do application plugins and make sure virtual dub gets selected And I just accept the defaults and you're going to go ahead and install and you can run these if you want at the time but uh, currently we will just leave those be and go ahead and you'll want to unzip virtual dub and then go ahead and let's make sure everything works audio compression lame mp3 and we have all these options for compression and then for video go to compression and the FFD show video codec is the one you're actually looking for and hit configure and here there are a lot of options and there's a lot of debate about which options are best for encoding um, you can set those any which way you want you have a lot of different encoders to choose from and that's basically how you want to set it up for encoding and what we're going to do now is just add video files and what you can do is if you have multiple ones um, you're just going to hit open for one and it will download the first one into the into the editing area and then you're going to want to oops you're going to want file and then append avi segment is what you want to do and you will keep on adding your segments until you have all the segments you need um, and then you'll notice here it just depends them all seamlessly together and you can scroll back and forth through that alright now on to some editing and control overview essentially this is your stop button and then your play input file play output file um, all the way back all the way forward and then frame by frame this is by keyframe and this is by scene change so forward scene back scene and this is your selection markers so let's say you wanted to delete a selection you would select the beginning the end hit delete and it would delete it and the nice thing you can undo that as well and that's the basic controls for for what virtual dub does um, if you right click you get an option as well and you can um, minimize. And you'll notice you seem to have two panes and that's actually your input is on the left and your output is on the right so you can if you apply filters and other things um, it will affect the output video and you can see the result. Unfortunately the 64-bit version does not really have a lot of options for for input filters um, and you can add these um, add these through this interface and it will automatically apply it to your output and of course you can play output or input using that and see what effects the filters have so and go ahead and uncheck those and delete those as well there's a lot of third-party filters. I'm not sure about the availability for, and you can load them this way, for 64-bit. I do know there are a ton for 32-bit, though. And personally, when I play this, a lot of times it will, audio will be stuttery and jerky. Um, a lot of that is um, something you can do is just a, like a processor issue or some other sort of issue you can drop frames one behind and that will smooth up your audio a lot so 
Have you ever had it where you wanted to extract just a, a five minute clip out of your favorite TV show or something like that? Um, with virtual dub it's actually quite easy to do. You would load the entire um, clip in and then you would essentially just delete everything but the clip until you only have the clip left. And then you can do one or two things. You can recompress the entire clip, which takes time and just isn't worth it. Or what you can do is go into direct stream copy mode for both your video and audio. And when you do file, save as AVI, and let's just save it to there. It's going to go a lot faster. This, I think it was a 15 or maybe longer than that minute video is going to be done in about a minute and 51 seconds and that was and essentially what I did there was I joined uh, several different segments of AVI files and uh, quickly I'll put them to one single one so and I'm gonna go ahead and import that so let's say you wanted to export this um, movie um, let's say up to YouTube which is what I'm currently doing with this one and you want to compress it in a good format make sure it looked nice first you would change everything to full processing mode video to full processing and audio to full processing then we do compression and lame mp3 and we have to make sure that this is compatible with our source which is a little bit difficult so usually what you want to do is is go to file and then file information and you can see the video stream and audio stream 44 100 16 bit 2 channel we go to audio compression let's choose say 148 hit ok Video compression, FFD show. We could configure that further if you would like. And you would have to go to save as AVI. Let's overwrite that. And there we go. It's off and running. It will take a good long time um, for a video this long to be compressed. And it says currently an hour 28. That will go up further and further. And that's a quick tutorial on how to um, do the basics with virtual dub. There's a lot more that you can do. However, this just covers um, usually most of all that I need for my YouTube tutorials, which is just cutting out things um, and compressing and then sending to YouTube.